the facilities are great. I can reach out to anybody on this panel and have them help me make a video or a song if I want to. Um, and I get to connect with people. Uh, yesterday I got to have breakfast with uh, Colin Powell's former chief of staff, and he's also one of my professors. So. So, best and worst? Best and worst. Um, I'd say the best is uh, just the sheer amount of different people I get to meet. Um, the majority of the people in my program, there are 34 people in my program. Um, most of them are Chinese. 30 are women, 4 are men. Um, which I guess would be a benefit if I wasn't married, but... <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Osias. Uh, I'm from Delaware, but I went to Syracuse University as an undergrad. Um, I majored in political science and international relations with minors in policy studies and Chinese studies. Uh, why I came to Newhouse? Well, so the thing about public policy is that it's actually two different master's programs. Uh, you get a master's in public relations here at Newhouse, and then you get an international relations master's over at Maxwell, the Maxwell School of Citizenship and Public Affairs. And the reason I chose to come to do this program is because, I, well, I applied for the program at USC, the University of Southern California, as well as the program at GW, George Washington, and because there's not really a lot of schools that teach public diplomacy. And the reason I decided to study public diplomacy was because um, when I graduated, um, well, when I, my senior year of college, I was going, looking at jobs, and I noticed that all the jobs that I wanted to do was political communication. So I'm a big political junkie, so this is like I've worked on campaigns and stuff, so that's really what I wanted to do. And I realized, like, just being able to talk about politics is not enough to actually qualify you for a job. Uh, go figure. So <laughs> I figured I needed to, add, to get a communications degree. And I was noticing that all my friends who were graduating from Newhouse were getting job offers left and right. They've done internships at all these big like PR agencies and like all these like awesome companies. So I was like, OK, this is where I need to go. Like, clearly, you guys have results. So this is where I need to come. Okay, hi, my name is Mega, or Meg as I'm known over here. I'm from Mumbai. I did my bachelor's in uh, business or commerce from Mumbai University. And uh, I have around four years of work experience working in the media as a journalist, uh, as a content manager. And I'm um, currently in the new media management program, which is, it's an amazing program because it's very focused, it's very specific. Um, and. Um, it deals with digital platforms and online businesses and getting to manage them. So it's kind of like an MBA with a focus on media, which is, which is very cool. I stay in the Westcott area, as uh, she mentioned. It's amazing. It's, uh, it's very culturally vi vibrant, um, and it's also close to campus. It's a 15-minute walk, so uh, you also have a great bus schedule. So that also works in your favor. Um, best and worst. The best and the worst. I think the best is uh, the program in itself for me because I think it's a one-of-a-kind program at this point and I'm sure a lot of universities are going to wake up and initiate <coughs> programs like this because the world is going digital and this is the best time and the best place to be in. So definitely the best part of Newhouse is the program in itself for me. Um, the worst is... Um, okay. Since it's such a distinct program, sometimes it's difficult to kind of um, tell people about it and get them to understand exactly what we are doing. But I'm guessing and hoping in the next two or three years that won't be a problem. So, so what do you hope to do after you get your degree? After I get my degree, I want to work in media strategy. So kind of uh, work with the business or the managerial level of media companies, ad agencies, PR companies, uh, look at content and kind of see how content should be created and what technologies and platforms to use. Um, I chose Newhouse because, you know, as they were saying, it is a very focused school. When you get into a program, they ask you right off the bat what it is that you want to do. And at first, I mean, you know, it's okay if you don't know what you're doing because they're going to help you every single step of the way. 
to get to where you want to be. At first, I had no idea what I wanted to do in the advertising field. Again, I told you I thought I wanted to do fashion marketing. But now I'm really kind of gung-ho for the whole account management, which is basically like being a supervisor for all the people who create advertising. And, and like that's what I want to do. So um, best and worst part, um, the opportunities and the experiences, I think, are the best part. We have professors ranging from people who are fresh out of the business, for me, you know, people who have have worked in, at you know C-level executives from the advertising agencies um, across the world and stuff like that, and, and they come back here and they teach us and they and they tell you about things that you would never be able to get from anybody else because they have this really strong perspective and experience from like what it is that they've done as a you know in their jobs and so um, opportunities wise. Um, we have uh, Eric Moore and Associates is an ad agency down in downtown Syracuse, and he sponsors uh, a speakers forum where they literally bring a speaker a week um, from the advertising business. Uh, all of these people are you know top level creative directors, you know uh, C level executives, like the best of the best that you can possibly imagine. And and they set up meet and greets where you can go to dinner with these people. And you can talk to them and give them your resumes and, and talk about like job opportunities even. I mean, obviously not that forward. You have to you know, move your way through it, of course. But I mean, just uh, experiences and opportunities that they have available for us here are just unbelievable and obviously was what ultimately allowed for me to, or made me decide to come here. Housing, right? Well, first off, let me back up. I am thankful that they created this website on Facebook. It's a group for everyone in our program, so I think everyone has their own program. That was amazing because you you have a connection like the day you uh, um, apply, make the commitment, and then you are on this Facebook book, Facebook page. And so I went to Orange Housing, and I literally found the best landlord ever. I have the best roommates on earth. They just renovated the place. It's a little bit off Westcott and all that, not too far from Cherry and um, Erie. So I'm like walking distance from the grocery store. I'm across the street from the cleaners. They are the best. Down the street from Burger King, oh yeah. And <laughs> I'm across the street from the bus that I found out that it takes you to school for free. You just show your badge and it literally takes you all around like Syracuse. So that was a blessing for me. Like they are, and everything they said was true. And I just, they are my family because I don't have a car. I have nobody here but my roommates. And um, we were actually going to be roommates. Actually, I took her place. Oh. So I tell her all the time, I'm glad that didn't work out because I'm not her place. And, um, <laughs> Countertops, floors, stainless appliances. I got lucky. Can you tell she's in DDJ? <laughs> <laughs> and we're all like this, by the way. It's, it's the street. Yeah. All right. So, best and worst. <laughs> the best. And the worst. The best. I'm here on the weekends. I would never come to school on the weekend, but I do because I'm around people that love what they do. And I got the coolest job ever because I applied for an IA. And didn't get it. And then I got an opportunity to get a job with OTN. If you want to do BDJ or TRF, apply to OTN. Or Tell them what OTN is. Oh, yes. OTN is the Orange Television Network. I am so excited. I love what we do. We actually, they gave us an opportunity, me and another girl, to launch their um, first YouTube show. It's called Cat and Cassie. Actually, it's called Excuse Me, Honey, with Cat and Cassie. So, <laughs> take the honey out, take the honey out. <laughs> so we go, we, we do like a segment here in Newhouse, and then we do a man on the street. And we just say, excuse me, honey. Excuse me, just ask some questions. And it's so much fun. I love it. And it's Citrus Network, Orange TV. There's so many people there that are just, just creative. And we manage it ourselves. And we're there. I was there the other day to like 9 o'clock. I, I sleep in there. They have a couch. And I have a pillow. And, I sleep. and then I wake up and I keep working. I would never do that. With, but you just feel like you're supposed to do that because you're here. It's like it's in your veins. You just want to edit and work and socialize at the same time. So I just, I bleed orange. I bleed. Am I bleeding it now? Do you see it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm bleeding with orange. It's kind of coming out of your head. <laughs> Hi.
Hi everybody, my name is Love. Um, that's my real name. This is not a joke. Um, <laughs> um, I'm in arts journalism and I just graduated, well, I graduated from University of Pittsburgh at Bradford in April and Newhouse was my first choice. So getting in here was like a sign from above that I needed to come here. Um, I applied to two other places. Oh, wait, I'm from Philadelphia. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm from Philly. Um, and when I went to undergrad, it was in Pennsylvania, but it was still six hours away. So I had to go away from my family and my friends. So that took a lot out of me. And coming to Newhouse, it's a little closer and it's easier to get out of. So that was nice. Um, but I applied to USC, I applied to Temple, and I applied here, and it was almost like uh, I had an epiphany because the program was a year long, and USC was, I was it was a toss-up between the two. USC is two years long, and they were also asking me for $90,000 for a year, just a year, not both years, and that's not including the cost of living in wow. California. So that was also a factor. Um, uh, where do I live, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I live on East Genesee, not too far from Kent, even though we are supposed to live together. We still live close to each other. Um, and I live right off of Westcott. It's a wonderful neighborhood. I also went through Orange Housing, and it's great. Um, my my rent is nice and cheap. I get everything included, so that was a blessing. Um, and what else? Was? Best and worst. Best and worst, okay. So I have to say that the best thing about New House and the graduate programs is it's the graduate programs themselves. Each program, honestly, they have a different identity. And each program, everybody in the program, they're so close-knit. and. It's almost like the personality of the program just it goes with each person and that's all that's so nice like the the BD you can tell who's a BDJ you can tell who's an MNO you can tell who's an AJ you can just tell who we are and it's not saying that we have like our cliques we all are friends we just it's a nice way because we all mesh and that's something that I don't believe that I could have gotten in any other school um, and I had to say the worst thing for me personally, and this is completely personal, just coming out of undergrad and going straight into grad school, I had to turn off like the little kid switch in my head and straight up become an adult. So that's something that you have to take into consideration when you're applying to programs and you're applying places. And Newhouse is very nurturing in that fact that they were there preparing me for the future as soon as I got here. And they took my resume, which was two pages, and drawn out, and they turned it into this one-page fantastic thing that I can go out and get internships with. And they're very focused on getting you a job when you get out. And so they, they're, they're preparing you for life, and not just in your field, but for life. So you have these, these talents and these little things in your back pocket that you can just pull out whenever you need them and that's truly my favorite part so worst. oh my worst part i said it in my favorite part kind of how it was me transforming <laughs> oh, <that's right>. from <laughs> <I got it. laughs>is just the caliber of the faculty. We've gotten a lot of new faculty in the last couple of years and um, like what they bring is just this enormous wealth of experience but also we kind of tap into their connection. So like we went to Photo Plus um, last month and because Gregory Heisler is here and he got us like because he's who he is, they gave us all like free passes to the whole weekend and then we had all these separate studio tours. And even when we were going into like Marco Grob's apartment to meet with him, you know, we said thanks for having us. He said, Well, I would do anything for Gregory Heisler, you know. So that part of it, you just feel really honored to kind of tap into that. Um, the worst part, well I guess the worst part is just like if you're gonna come to MPD, you you really were up late and up early like I really don't sleep that much which I don't mind because it's great um, but 
you're just we have a lot of production and a lot of um, production classes. So we're the one program that has tends to, like you can do it in a year, but I only know one or two people who did that. Um, our program is really now, I think this is official, right? Designed to go like fall, you start in boot camp, then you go fall, spring. We have a summer thing called CORE, and that was taught, has been taught um, the last couple of years and will be this year by this National Geographic photographer. So you have like the beginning of the summer for 10 days with her, then you do a project in the summer, and then you come back at the end of the summer, and she brings a bunch of editors, like we have National Geographic editors who help us edit the work, and then we have the second fall semester. So it's a little bit different, and I would say... Hey, I'm um, Patrick. I'm in the arts journalism program with Love. Mm -hmm. And uh, so Newhouse was my one and only choice for grad school. I grew up in Rochester and lived in Buffalo and Chautauqua and a little bit in New York City. So I've only lived in New York State. Um, and I knew that I didn't want to go to school out of state. I wanted to stay in state. Um, and Newhouse is great. It's, I'd say, like, top school still. Is it? Yeah, cool state. Uh, that's, that's what I was telling myself as I was applying. So, uh, Yes, I live on uh, Comstock Ave. Pretty unique situation. It's not dissimilar to yours. I rent a room, um, and the cool thing is there are there were three rooms to be rented. I got one of them, and the other two rooms in the house are two people that are also in my program. So there's three of us. Uh, we all live together with our landlady who has two cats. It's great. Actually, three cats. But we never see the one because they fight. So that's <laughs> um, yes. So that's cool. And I found out about that by the way through uh, a person in my program last year. They they do a lot of um, our program does a lot of carrying over and helping the new people get settled. So someone was in this arrangement last year, <clears throat> and now I'm in it. Um, the best part is probably the level of community engagement that we have in our program. So in the summer during the boot camp, uh, we take an arts reporting class that's really kind of like a, a community engagement class where we get to know the arts leaders in the city, all sorts of arts organizations that are local. And so making those connections like super early on is great because it helps us out in terms of content for like us writing stories about it, but also um, because it's just it's cool to like come to Syracuse for I think everyone except one person in our program um, was Syracuse was brand new to them, so to come to this new city and get to know like all these arts leaders, and we, we took like a walking tour of the city one of the first weeks of class that we had, um, and so that's that's kind of a thing in our program is it's like you you are not it's like not a whether you like it or not you're going to be engaged with with the community and with the city specifically, um, so that's like that's been my favorite part because um, I've learned yeah there's just there's really cool there's recording studios and there's art museums and all sorts of theater. Um, there's a lot to do arts-wise in Syracuse, which is really cool. Yes. Hi, um, I'm Queenie. I'm in the audio arts class. Um, it's a combination of music business and um, music engineering. There's a lot of people, like coming into this program, a lot of people would come to me like, what is audio arts? <laughs> Um, I did my undergrad in Illinois Western University in um, international business and music, and I applied to Syracuse University and Boston University. Um, why I picked Syracuse? Because um, last year I came to this open house and then I was at the place and then um, I was just very moved with the panel and everyone was very um, engaged and the professor was really responsive. I remember applying to this program in late January and I got um, the feedback two weeks after and I was just super excited that I got in and um, I got a scholarship and um, I didn't get an IA position but then I got a research assistant uh, after I came in here um, applied for a job and I got it. Um, I live at Campus West which is 15 minutes walk away from here. Um, it's right opposite to the dome, and it's a new building. A lot of grad students live there. Um, what else? Best, best part of this program is um, there's only seven of us, so it's very, it's a very close, tight knit. We get to know each other very well, um, and 
we actually got a lot of opportunity, even though it's not like a big city. But then we got to go to conferences. Um, two weeks ago, I was in LA um, at the Billboard Film and TV Music Conference. And then this week, some of us were in uh, New York for the touring conference. So um, there's a lot of opportunity to go out like, and to meet people and to network. Um, and worse of this program, because this is a new program, um, coming into this program, I didn't know what to expect, but then um, as the semester goes on, I just was surprised how much opportunity I got, and um, each of us got like different tracks that we want to do, and then we get to customize our class and um, stuff that we want to do according to what we want to do after we graduate. So. Great, thanks. I decided on Newhouse for a couple of reasons, I guess. One, uh, one of their alumni really pushed me towards it. Uh, he runs the McClatchy Bureau, DC Bureau, um, and is an incredibly sharp guy and goes head to head with the New York Times all the time. And he is very, very much so uh, in love with this school and says that he loves the kind of journalists that it produces. Um, so that, that really helped me. Another thing that solidified it was I talked with um, the head of the audio, or not one of the head of the audio, one of the professors who works in audio, uh, Corey Takahashi, who kind of does magazine, audio, podcasts, kind of an all-around guy, and he um, just spoke about the program a lot more passionately than his counterpart at Columbia. Uh, he knew about the need to integrate different mediums besides, uh, besides print um, into into the world of print journalism. So that, that really encouraged me to, to make that decision. Um, I'm trying to... Anyway, so uh, the next one was um, Best and Works over there. Uh, best, I, I love the integration of different departments. I think that it's really essential. I think that the print journalism world has kind of had their blinders up to the fact that everything is, is mixing together. They're finally just getting it, and this is the one journalism school that actually recognizes that. Um, particularly in print, to see like this revelation of shooting a video and putting a video up, it seems like a miracle to, to some people in print, but, but coming here to know that that's the standard, it's, it's very encouraging. Um, uh, and, and we have, and I think that people sort of speak a little bit in abstract ways about integrating. Uh, in very concrete ways, different classes are integrated. We took our graphics class with people who are in public diplomacy and public relations, people that journalists typically don't want to talk to at all. Uh, but you know, we got a chance to engage them, and, and I feel like the school, Newhouse itself, is has such a tighter structure because of that integration.